And continuing on with your daily health watch, Annie Taylor has this week's Just for the Health of It tip. Welcome to Just for the Health of It. I'm Annie Taylor. This is Casey Stutzman. So, Casey, what are we going to do today? Well, today I actually have a question for you. Okay. You you work out. You're very active. Yes. What is your least favorite thing to do when you're working out? Oh, jeez. Probably uh, cardio. Probably cardio. <laughs> we hear that answer a lot. Yes. What, what do you not like about it? Uh, just It's like the same thing over and over again, and I'm bored. It's long, it's boring, yes. and it's monotonous. Yes. Absolutely. And, and a lot of people have the same, same issues. Uh, I'm going to share a little secret with you. Okay. Cardio training, all it is is getting your heart rate up and keeping it up for a set period of time. How you do that can be done a thousand different ways. It doesn't have to be just a run or just a bike or being all one thing for mm -hmm. 30, 40 minutes. Okay, looking at the same thing. <laughs> and, and, and on the tail end of that too, you know, we live in a three-dimensional world mm -hmm. and we move in mm -hmm. three dimensions. So if we're just constantly moving forward, mm -hmm. that doesn't really help prepare our bodies for real life. Right. So today we're just going to do some fun athletic style drills that anybody can do at any speed they feel comfortable. And, and, and we're going to be moving all over the place and just going to have some fun with it. And we're going to turn cardio into fun. Okay, How's sounds that sound? good. Yeah. So you're going to start on these cones. All okay. we have here are two cones. That's it. Yes. Really simple setup. Okay. I'm going to have you start on this cone facing down this way. Okay. Like this? Yep. Okay. You're going to start with just a sprint. So you're okay. just going to run down to that cone and now you're going to run backwards. Oh, run backwards? Run backwards. Now face the mirror and do this crossover step. Okay. Just like that. What's that called? That's a crossover step and now okay. you'll crossover step back. Perfect. And then get nice and low. Uh -huh. Shuffle. Uh oh, I don't like these. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and then come back. Just get your thighs. Oh, it's hitting a little bit of everything. Now you're going to go through it full speed. You ready? Okay. All, right. the, all the way through? All the way through it. Okay. No stopping. Go. Forward. To backward. Turn to the mirror. Crossover step. Nice job. Nice job. Crossover back. Get low. Shuffle. Shuffle back. <laughs> and relax. So that was just one little round. Yes, and you I feel your heart rate up a little bit. Is that sad or is that a good thing? No, no, that's great because you're working hard. You're moving in all different planes of motion, so it's more challenging for the body. It's more fun. It's it's more energetic. There's so many good things involved. My heart is racing that. right now. Yeah. That's good stuff. So. How long should someone do this for? That's a great question. So maybe do that drill or that series for like 45, 60 seconds, maybe a little bit longer. Take a short break so you can continue to go hard and then uh, change it up. Do something awesome. different. It doesn't have to be repetitive. It can be a thousand different things. It can be little hops or jumps or sprints and backwards and figure eights and, and just be creative and have fun with it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Casey, and we'll see you guys next week for Just for the Health of It.